I'm Tracy Letts. I wrote the play Linda Vista. It's a coming of age story about a 50 year old man. It's a comedy. I, I call it a comedy. I've always called it a comedy. I think the best dramas have a lot of comedy in them and the best comedies have some dramatic elements in them. So sometimes it's hard to know to make that distinction. It's a very funny play, I'll say that. This is rare in that it started with me rolling a blank page into the typewriter, just starting typing. I do that periodically. I think most writers do, just as a kind of free writing exercise. It never turns into anything. It never becomes a, a play. Normally, I think about plays for years before I actually do any writing. This one turned into something, turned into a play. And uh, before I knew it, I had these two guys talking and the things they were talking about. Characters started to evolve, and the play is really born out of character more than it is story or plot. It's, uh, it's character driven. So if we fixed you up, would you be up for that? Who's we? You and Margaret? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I'm skeptical, but I'll give anything a try. So who is this? You don't know her. I like her already. <laughs> <laughs> She's nice looking. I'm not so hung up on that. I admire that about you, your lack of standards. Well, come on. <laughs> something about Wheeler's point of view, uh, something about his, his middle-agedness struck me, spoke to me. A lot of my friends are in that age, and it's an interesting time for a lot of reasons. I've got some sympathy for Wheeler, for the character in this play. I find him a sympathetic figure, even though sometimes his behavior is, uh, well, hard to like. Sometimes he's hard to like, but I like him anyway. I think Linda Vista has a lot uh, to offer an audience. I think it's a good time. It's, it's got laughs, it's got romance, it's got uh, some pathos, it's got Steely Dan. What, what, do, what do you expect your play to do? <laughs>